So in this video, we're going to talk about creating the actual giveaway. Now, my favorite giveaway strategy is three videos. One when they first sign up, one the day after they sign up, and then one two days after they sign up. The first video is the case study. And as I've said before, in this video, you want to make sure that that person can take action right now and achieve some sort of goal. The second video is what I call a mistakes video. And you're going to point out all the mistakes that people make when they're trying to do whatever it is related to your business. So the five email marketing mistakes or five mistakes agencies make when signing up new clients, things like that. And then the third video is a sales video. And I'm actually going to get more into that next week. So I do want to make you aware of it, but we're going to talk a lot more about that next week because that's a key component to this entire strategy. So let's get right into it. Why do you want to do a case study? Well, first of all, you get to tell a story, and stories are great sales tools. Stories allow you to bond with your audience and vice versa. It allows you to relate to them on their level where they are at this time in their business. You get to show real results that you were able to achieve. Again, a great sales tool without being salesy. You get to prove that you're able to get results and that what you're doing actually works and can actually solve their problem. The audience gets to see how you work. They get to understand your process. They get to understand what it is that you're going to do and your style. And finally, they get to take a little bit of action on their own and achieve a specific goal that they want to achieve. So for instance, in my case study video, I showed you the step-by-step -step process to get a blog post accepted on a popular blog. So you could take action on that right away. So in the case study video, you first want to open with a story. You want to identify the problem you want to describe how the problem makes the person you're telling the story about feel. Then you want to reveal the solution. So for instance, when I was creating a marketing agency, my case study video was about a guy named Rob Gilfillan over at Scenario. And Rob told me that he built a website and he spent like, I don't know, $20,000 building the website. And to be perfectly honest with you, the website stunk. But more importantly, Rob wasn't generating a lot of leads to the website. He was actually getting no sales through it. So to him, it felt like a complete waste of $20,000. And when I asked Rob how that made him feel, he said, well, he felt frustrated. He felt like he wasted money. He felt like he got gypped. And so then I told Rob about guest blogging and how guest posting on popular blogs like Forbes or the Harvard Business Review would help him get leads to his website. So that's Rob's story. And a lot of my customers were in Rob's situation. They spent a lot of money on their website and it wasn't generating leads. It wasn't doing what they were promised that it would do. And so I was able to relate to my prospect through Rob. Now, my personal story is the one that I used for Cloud Marketing Labs right now that marketing agencies are uh, going through. So I talk about how I was frustrated trying to get more clients and trying to sign up new clients and make new sales and all this other stuff. I talked about how I wasn't able to enjoy my life and how I wasn't able to enjoy the things that I used to enjoy because that obsession with trying to make new sales, that's a lot about what agencies think about when they're not making new sales and when they're not closing new deals all the time. And then again, I reveal the solution was guest blogging and then I go into how to write a guest post. After you tell the story, you're going to talk about how to solve the problem. right? So pick something specific, uh, such as getting a guest post accepted, creating an engaging Facebook post, increasing the load speed of a page or a website or something along those lines. And this is your magic. This is where you operate. I can't give you much more information. But make sure that when you're done, the person who is watching the video can take the necessary steps to see the results that they're desired. So by the time you're done with the with this part of the video, the person watching knew how to get a guest post accepted. 
they know how to write a, an engaging Facebook post or they know how to increase the load speed of their landing page or things along those lines. So make sure that they can take that action and I can't stress that enough. The final part of the case study video is the proof. Show the solution to the problem and then show the desired result. So for instance, the solution to the problem is going to be that perfect Facebook post or it's going to be that guest post on a popular blog. And then the desired result is going to be the amount of leads that that, po that that blog post got or that Facebook update was able to generate. So that's the desired result. So you want to show both. Show, how the, show the solution to the problem and then show the desired result. And that's really all it takes to create a very compelling case study video. You get to bond with the audience. You get to help them show what you can do and prove that you're able to get results and this becomes a very very powerful relationship building and sales tool the next video is a mistakes video you want to make people aware that they are making mistakes and make it obvious that they don't know everything you want to insert doubt into their minds and whatever you do do not reveal the solution because if you give them everything then they're gonna go out and do it on their own yes they might not have the time and all that other good stuff but that you don't even want them to think that they can do it on their own you wanna just make them realize that hey I can't do this or I could learn all this but it's just gonna take way too much time to learn it all why don't I just hire you that's what you wanna start to get them to think about is wow this is so overwhelming I don't have the time to learn all this let me just hire this agency the mistakes video is perfect for injecting that little bit of doubt into their minds the key is to make sure these are real mistakes you see clients make because if you're just creating a mistakes video and these aren't real mistakes then the clients not gonna buy it they're not gonna believe it so you wanna make sure that they believe it through real mistakes that people actually make so five mistakes agencies make when signing up new clients the first mistake that they make is they don't for instance they don't have a great elevator pitch and their slogan sounds just like everybody else's so that's an actual real mistake that they all make or they're not collecting enough email addresses again another mistake that most agencies make seven email mistakes made by all b2b marketers one of the mistakes is going to be inconsistent distribution of the email another mistake is going to be bad subject lines and then you're gonna to wanna to point out why these are mistakes and how this is affecting the results that they're seeing and finally seven rookie mistakes by newbies on Facebook again just point out all the mistakes that they're making for instance not engaging with fans they're creating bad status updates they're updating their Facebook status at the wrong time of the day or the wrong time of the week and things like that so make sure that you're pointing out all the mistakes that you see all the rookies make again give them that little bit of doubt and get let that creep into their mind so that way they say wait a minute I just don't have the time to learn all this I wonder if I could just hire you to do it and that's really it right so the first video is the case study video the second video is the mistakes video next week we're gonna talk about sealing the deal and making the sales video as well as other ways to make sales so that's all I got for you this week I hope that you enjoyed I hope that you're able to take some action and as always, you're able to shoot me an email and we could get together during office hours. Take care.